A ball is thrown straight up from point A. It reaches a maximum height at point B and falls back to point C, which is at the same height as point A. Which of the following is true about the direction, the ball's velocity, and acceleration between B and C? So now, what we have to do is understand the means of which the ball falls back down along this path, this trajectory. So when the ball is up here at its maximum point, its velocity is equal to zero meters per second, and its acceleration is equal to a negative 9.8 meters per second squared. When the ball reaches point C again, it has the same magnitude as which it left at point A, but it is in the opposite direction. The acceleration due to gravity at the bottom of this path is still directed downwards and a value of A. So in between is where we now have to determine this. So in between, we'll start to increase our velocity in the negative direction. Because here our velocity is zero, we're going to increase in the downward direction as we fall down. So our velocity on the way coming back down is pointed downwards and now our acceleration is still directed downwards. For this entire trajectory, this entire path, this parabolic motion that the ball follows when it's thrown up, the acceleration is always down and is always a constant. It is always the acceleration due to gravity. So now We've shown that the path between B and C, our velocity is directed downward, as well as our acceleration. So the answer choice that fits is D.